What's up y'all, it's Jade and Ari here, back again with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys for watching, and if you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and hair tutorial type review on Adula hair. The hair was shipped to me in about three to four days. It comes very fast, so if you're looking for a company to work with that sends the hair fast, the doula is definitely it. I was sent a 20 inch frontal, 22, 24, and 26 inch bundles. So here is the frontal. It's really nice and the hair is super soft. One thing, the hair is just a tad bit frizzy, but it's no problem. This lace is definitely tinted. It's not an HD lace, so if you are a certain complexion, I would be skeptical about getting this color lace. So that was my unboxing, so now let's get straight into the video. So now I'm just starting off with detangling the wig, taking the braid from the frontal out, and just getting the wig ready. Before I begin, I'm just putting my hair in four different sections so I can be organized and know how much I have left. And just to let you guys know, I am currently selling this wig. It's on my website. When I was trying to figure out what type of wig I wanted to make originally, I was just browsing on YouTube and I came across the YouTuber Zell Lewis and she made a highlighted uh, ash blonde wig. That's kind of sort of where I got my idea from because I feel like blonde or like brown tones are like the perfect summer color. So I was going in at first trying to recreate her look. Before I begin bleaching, I just want to show you guys what products I'm using, so make sure you screenshot that in the video. I wasn't able to get a video of the developer I used, but I used 30 developer for the entire video. So all I did was mix about three scoops of powder in my developer, and that's how I got started. The consistency was very creamy and I just began at the bottom and I went all the way at the top. If you want to speed the process up, you can always use aluminum foil. 
I decided not to do that and I just split up this process for two days. As I'm going through the hair with bleach, I'm combing it out and I'm spreading it with my fingers to make sure I'm getting bleach all over the hair. I watch a lot of YouTube tutorials, but this is really my first time actually dealing with blonde. I normally bleach the hair and then I dye it red, so I don't know too much. So if you guys have any advice or any tips, please let me know in the comments. So yeah, you just do this step until you reach the top of the frontal and I just let it air dry all night because I don't like to reapply any bleach or anything while it's wet. So this is day two. This is how the hair looks after it's been bleached all the way to the top. I just let the hair sit and air dry because I do not like to apply bleach to wet hair. I'm absolutely in love with the hair so far. There's plenty of different colors going on already so I don't have to do much because that's what I wanted in the first place. So the YouTuber I was originally inspired by, when she got to this step, she just applied blue bleach. I'm just going to section it off again in four different sections and maybe one or two pieces between I'm just going to go apply bleach again to just brighten it in some spots so it can be completely different all over. I was really in love with the color so I decided not to do too much so maybe one or two for each and that's just what I did. And I was also scared because I've never worked with this company before so I was scared if the hair would damage very easily. So now once I'm finished, I'm just gonna go in and dye the roots like a chocolate brown. You don't have to do this step, but um, it kind of just highlights the blonde even more when you dye the roots brown. So I'm finally done. Um, I did not have time to let the hair air dry, so I just went ahead and blow dried it. I wasn't gonna show the recording of me blow drying it until I realized how beautiful the hair was and it just shows all the colors within the wig. So now it's time for me to straighten the hair and I'm just going in and spraying heat protectant on it before I put a flat iron on it. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with it and looking back now I wish I would have curled it or crimped it. That would have been super cute. So far the hair took the color well. Um, there was minimum shedding. As you can see I do comb out the hair here and there throughout the clip and it was just a little bit. I'm really in love with this wig and color and I'm loving all the chocolate blonde tones. It's really different. One thing I wish I would have did differently is add a little bit of brown, the chocolate brown dye used in the hair too so I could have variations of that color as well. I'm really trying to learn how to silk press hair, so if you guys recommend any products, I know you're not supposed to use a lot of products when you're trying to straighten hair, but if you would recommend any, please let me know. And once again, if you are interested in purchasing this wig, it's brand new. The lace has been cut at a minimum just to make the video, but it has not been tinted, has not been plugged. It's practically a brand new lace, it's its original color. So yeah, if you're interested in purchasing that, it is, it is on my site. So yeah, this is the ending result of the hair I'm definitely in love with. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for updates on my next video.